Hey guys, this is Roll from Simple Wi-Fi, and in this video we're going to cover how to install your Wi-Fi base station. Okay, so the reason why we call this setup a base station and not a hotspot, even though they're essentially doing the same thing, is because of the antennas involved. These antennas are sectorial panels. They look a lot like the ones that are used on cell towers. They're very far reaching with a very far spread, and that's why they're so big. In order to get forward distance and also to the left and right, you have to increase the size of the antenna. That's why the sectorials are used most often on cell towers and Anytime you, you see a large hotspot like a park or, or a parking lot or something of this nature, you're going to see a sectorial antenna just because of how far they reach and how much area they cover from the left to right. On the other hand, our hotspot setup is not as sophisticated. The antennas plug directly into your existing router if your router has a, uh, removable antennas. So it's not meant to reach very far like a base station. It's just meant to increase the coverage maybe into your backyard or maybe just a few houses down. Nothing too far, or too crazy. And that's why we make the difference between the, uh, the hotspot and the base station. Okay, so, so just to touch on what the base station is gonna do, you're gonna plug this whole system that's gonna sit outside into your existing router via the ethernet port so this is okay if your router doesn't have any detachable antennas you're not going to be doing any coaxial connections to your inside router it's going to plug into one of the ethernet ports you're going to run the ethernet cable out to an access point which then connects via coax at this point to two sectorial antennas all right guys it's so hot outside i decided to do the pole mounts uh, on the pole indoors and then take it all out and slide onto the tripod. But just to go over the connections one more time, there's the PoE with two ethernet cables coming out of it and another one for power. One of the ethernet cables is running to my, la uh, my router and that's what's giving internet to the whole system. That is the LAN port on the PoE. Then the PoE port is where the long ethernet cable gets to run all the way up to the access point. The access point then has two coax connections which connect to your antennas and that is how internet travels from inside your house to outside on your Wi-Fi base station. Okay so once you reach your access point outside there's a little cap that comes off and this is what makes the access point watertight. There's a black little grommet in there that you can cut in half in order to wrap around the cable and really get a watertight seal. Once you get that done, you get plugged in, you're going to have two N female connections on the top of this. And we include in our base station kit three foot uh, coax cable connections that will connect from your access point to your sectorial antennas. And the reason there is two is because these, this is a MIMO uh, multiple input, multiple output. So it's called MIMO technology access point. It basically allows for very high speed internet uh, through this device. And because these are sectorial high power antennas and we're doing MIMO, you're going to have high speed internet from far away. And that's the case you need for MIMO, you always need two. All right, so to touch on the antennas real quick, we're going to be installing two 16 dBi 90 degree uh, sectorials. So they're fairly large. They can get even bigger than this depending on how far you want to reach. Uh, and just for the just to speed this up on the video, I've already uh, screwed in all the hardware. It's fairly simple, uh, but I like to uh, get everything in place and then just slide it over the top of the pole instead of trying to hold everything in place and then bolting the clamps around it. So we'll go ahead and do that now.
everything done outside. Now let's head inside and configure the access point so that it can transmit internet from my router through these antennas. The last thing I would do for my particular setup is throw some sandbags or some bricks just to secure this tripod down. If you have a tripod that you're setting up for this, you definitely want to throw some weight so that the wind during a storm doesn't topple this thing over. Okay guys, so we've made it inside the house. The installation is done outside and we need to configure our access point. So from the LAN port on the PoE, I'm plugged directly into my laptop so that I can communicate from my laptop to the access point. Once we're done configuring, we will then remove from our laptop and plug it into the router and then it'll pass along internet. So uh, the first thing we need to do is get to our network settings. So I'm gonna find that. Now I'm on Windows 10, I just type in network down here in the search, get to ethernet, change adapter options and you'll see identifying it doesn't have internet so we're going to play with all that now i'm going to right click properties internet protocol version 4 so ipv4 properties and then we're going to set static ip so use the following ip address 192.168.2 and then i press tab to populate subnet mask but let me just finish this off so it's 192 1682.10 and if you press tab or it doesn't populate you need to put in the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 we can press ok there close and let's leave this here so let's open up a new tab okay and we're going to go to the page 192.168.2.66 <clears throat> now this is the page for the deliberate access point. We're communicating directly with the access point outside. If you get to this page, press get flash and allow it. This just allows flash to run so you can access the back end of this uh, deliberate access point. Admin, admin01, that's the password by default. And the only thing that we're going to touch here, uh, even though there is a lot of options with this access point, it is very powerful. If you're a networking guy, you can go ahead and play and do all these kind of fancy configurations. But just for passing internet through the antennas outside, we're going to go to configuration, wireless, and here is where we're going to put in the name that you want to use. So uh, let's just do simple Wi-Fi and the password i'm going to use is personal wpa2 and my password is going to be simple wi-fi all lowercase okay save and apply confirmation of what you've done press yes at this point you can go ahead and remove the cable from your computer and plug it into the router so then the access point and the antennas outside are now passing internet all right guys so we're about done with our installation and i just wanted to touch on a couple things before i let you go uh, these antennas are very directional so take note on the radiation pattern that's uh spec for the antenna 90 degrees 120 45 depending on what you chose that's where you're going to see signal uh, so keep that in mind just because this antenna is very big uh, don't expect to see signal behind it 100 feet 200 feet you have to be out in front of it and to add on top of that um, below it you're not going to get any much signal it, you definitely need to be about uh, let's say if you put this antenna on a one-story roof like I did I needed to be about 50 feet away from the antenna before I started seeing some real good speed some real good signal uh, uh, you know it's like the bar is going up uh, below the antenna I actually got poor speeds they got really bad quality signal because there actually are dead spots below above and and certain areas behind it so you want to be out in front of it the higher the antenna uh the the more you want to angle it down uh just a few degrees so if you're about 30 feet up you want to angle it down about four or five degrees if you're on one story keeping it about flat should be fine elevation line of sight and all these things really come into play on how your antennas overall perform so keep that in mind. If you have any questions, of course, we're always here to help. Support at simplewifi.com. One of our techs will be happy to help you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and see you soon.